Hi everyone, my name is Miss Abraham and today is Thursday, May 7th, 2020. Today we're going to focus on reading a story, a historical account called The Children We Remember. This is a story about Jewish children who lived during World War II. And to learn more about World War II, I'm going to give you some facts and some more information. During World War II, Adolf Hitler was the leader of the Nazis. One of his goals was to kill all Jewish people. In every country his army went into, they took all human rights away from the Jews. Jews could not keep their homes or their jobs. As the Nazis took over a country, they sent the Jews away to be killed. Jewish children were sent to their deaths along with Jewish adults. Some people in each country did not agree with Hitler's plan. And these brave people risked their own lives each day to try and save the lives of Jewish children. So that's a lot to take in. So let me give you some background on World War II and some vocabulary that we need to know so when we're reading, we understand the story better. First, we have a man and his name is Adolf Hitler. He was a real person and he was the leader of Germany during World War II. He was actually known as a dictator. So he had total, total power over all of the people in his country. He used his power to hurt others as we just learned. Jewish people are those who follow Judaism. It's a Jewish religion. And if you see that symbol, it's called the Star of David. The Nazis were people who controlled Germany during World War II. The sign in the back of this photograph is called a swastika. And it was a symbol of hatred towards the Jews. Prison camps are where people are held prisoners and they don't have any freedom. They don't have any basic rights. They can't go to work and get paid and they can't go see their families most of the time. This is a photograph of children in World War II in a prison camp. These are Jewish children. So this genre is called a historical, a historical account. And what that means is that these are real events that happen. So it's nonfiction. This isn't made up. It actually happened in the 1930s, 1940s. And as I said, this story tells about Jewish children during World War II. The Children We Remember by Shauna Byers Abels. Photographs are from the archives um, and the Heroes Remembrance Authority in Jerusalem. So we're going to take a look at a timeline of World War II so you can still better understand kind of what's happening and when this all happened in history. So between 1933 and 1938, Hitler took away freedoms from the Jews and others in Germany. While the world was at war, um, the red area on the map shows how Hitler's army took over many countries during World War II. The Nazis made millions of Jews leave their homes and they sent them to prison camps. The end of the war happened in 1945 and armies from many other countries fought against the Nazis. In time, these armies won the war against Hitler and many Jewish prisoners were set free. Before the Nazis, 
Some children lived in towns like this. They went to schools like this and prayed in synagogues like this. They played with their friends or sat alone. Then the Nazis came. They made the Jews sew patches on their clothes. They closed Jewish stores and schools. They burned synagogues. They took away homes. Families were forced to live in the streets. When the children were cold, they wrapped themselves in rags. When the children were hungry, they shared the little food they had. The children helped the old, the sick, and each other. The Nazis hated the children because they were Jews. Sometimes the Nazis took them away from their families and sent them far from home. Sometimes they put children to death. These children were killed by the Nazis. Shauna, her brother, Willie, and children whose names we do not know.